Okay, here we have deer. And what's going on with the deer of Pataska Forest? Well, they like to feed along the forest's edge. They have a little forest and wonderful trees. And there come the Pataska deer out to feed. There's the forest edge. Forest edge. So everything is fine until the construction begins. What's happening here? Well, you're going to have a large homes everywhere. And the question is, this is consequent, or the conclusion rather, consequently, once the housing is occupied, the annual number of the forests that are hit by cars will be much higher than before construction started. And the idea is that the deer, as far as the roads go, here are the roads, or the car, you know, the car going by, they like to go to the road because they think, hey, the road is like a forest set. And so conclusion makes sense. They are going to come out and get hit by a car, and so what's going to happen? The number of deer hit by cars is going to increase. So number deer hit by cars increase. That's the conclusion. So we're looking for an answer. That's an assumption that something that the, this conclusion depends on. Without it, we can't draw this conclusion. What could it be? So let's look here. And answer choice B. It says deer will be as attracted to the forest edge around new houses as to the forest edge along the side of the roads. Now, it doesn't really matter because you can have homes over here and maybe they're also attracted to these homes. And maybe they're not as many are attracted to the road. And so perhaps they will die. Or not as many will die actually because they're going off here to the homes. And so suddenly, the number of deer hit by cars doesn't necessarily go up, but it, it may go down. But the idea here is, for this conclusion to hold valid, it doesn't have to be true that they are actually attracted to the road or the clearing near the forest around homes. It doesn't really bear on arguments you get rid of B. Then we look at answer choice C. The year past the annual number of deer have been hit by cars on existing roads to Potaska Forest has been very well, this actually supports, if anything, because the idea is, well, the roads are, more roads are going to be here, so more deer likely to get hit. So we can get rid of that. And we look at D, the development will leave sufficient force to sustain a significant population of deer. Unlike answer choice B, without this, if this wasn't the case, then the whole argument would fall apart. Why? Well, here comes the construction crew. Boom, there goes the forest. Boom, there goes the forest. The forest is gone. What's going to happen? Well, forces all cut down. What's going to happen to the population of deer? Now well, they're, they're going to die. So the deer are gone, or at least they're going to suffer some. Not all of them are going to die, obviously, but they're going to suffer some major economic, or rather environmental destruction. So all the deer go down. And then what happens here? Well, we have this conclusion that the number of deer hit by cars is going to increase. But if there are fewer deers around because their habitat has been destroyed, then clearly the number of deer hit by cars cannot go down because there's fewer deer around. And therefore, without answer choice D as an assumption, everything falls apart, and that's our answer.